what is an insect? What is an insect, guys? What does that even mean? How do you define or explain what an insect is? Well, that's what we are going to read and find out about today. Insects are part of the animal kingdom. They are among the smallest animals. Insects have an exoskeleton, such as the ladybug. You guys have a skeleton or bones inside your body, but a ladybug has one outside her body. Insects have three main body parts. This is a velvet ant wasp. He's got a head, a thorax, which is the middle of his body, and the abdomen, which is kind of like your belly, at the bottom of his body. But all insects have the same three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Insects have two large eyes. This is a house fly. Ooh, those flies are pesky little critters. Fly around your house. Look, I lost my page. Um, insects also have mouth parts. Look at that. Those look kind of creepy. That's an ant. But they sure do need those to eat. Insects have two antennas. This is a short-horned grasshopper. Antennas help them to feel and sometimes even taste. Pretty cool fact, huh? Insects have six legs. This is a cricket. One, two, three, four, five, six legs. Most insects have wings and they can fly. This is a white-tailed dragonfly. Those are very pretty insects. Female insects lay eggs. Millions of young insects hatch every day. Ooh, that's a lot of eggs, a lot of babies. And these are some cool words to know. The animal kingdom, which means the group that includes all animals. An antenna is what we said was on some insects. They have a feeler on an insect's head and they use them to touch, taste, or smell. The body is all the parts a person, an animal, or an animal is made up of. The exoskeleton is a tough or stiff structure on the outside of some animals. It covers and protects the animal. A female is an animal that can give birth and lay eggs. An insect is a small animal with an exoskeleton, three body parts, six legs, two antenna, and a million kind of insects have been named in the world so far. A million. And there's actually some cool websites they um, let us know about in this book. So if you wanted to, you could go to facttown.com, type in this special code right here that you see in the video, and check out different sites that are appropriate for preschoolers. Um, and you can click on the Fetch It button and the Fact Town will fetch the best sites for you. Fact Town is a great, safe, fun website on the internet, you guys. Um, it's related to this book, but also research on lots of others. So go ahead and check that out. Thanks for reading with me today. Bye-bye.